Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this episode, we are going to show you how to download Landsat images. During this tutorial, you'll be given some information about the Landsat 9 images, how to import the Landsat 9 images, how to remove cloudy areas, and finally how to export the image. Okay, let's get started. In the Google, search for Google Earth Engine and log in to the Google Earth Engine. Make sure you've already created a GEE account. And from the platform section, click on the code editor. You can also enter the dataset section and select the Landsat section. Since we are going to download Landsat images in this video, click on Landsat 9. Here is the raw Landsat 9 image. The top of atmosphere image can be seen. And the surface reflectance image. The reflection of the features itself can be seen here because the required corrections were applied to these images. To prevent or not need any atmospheric corrections, we use this image. You can see some information from Landsat 9 here, which has been prepared by the USGS. It was launched on October 31, 2021 and is still available. You can see the Landsat 9 bands that are similar to the Landsat 8 images. Here is a prepared code for displaying Landsat 9 images that you can use. Here it displays the name of the image and the date of the image. We will explain all the code lines for you to understand better. In these images, there is a scale that the numbers received from the surface reflectance should be multiplied by this scale and the offset number should be applied to this to get the exact surface reflectance. Here, this operation is done using a function. For now, we will remove this section, we will apply the explanation later. Here we are going to display the dataset. Here is a function that can display a Landsat image using band 4, band 3, and band 2. Band 4 is red, band 3 is green and band 2 is blue. Band 1 of the Landsat 9 is an ultra blue band and coastal aerosol. Here map center is defined. The image can also be displayed using map add layer. We go to a region to display the images for this region. If you go to the inspector and click on your area, it will display the coordinates of the area. If you want to download the images in this place, copy the latitude and longitude and enter it into map set center. We also set the zoom level to 9. and run the code. Because we did not apply the scale factor, the image is displayed in white. Here, from the custom section, select 100 and apply, the display will be better. We change the date of the images to display more different images.
In order to only have a certain area, we create a polygon. Draw a polygon to the area. In order to receive only the images of the area where the polygon was drawn, we write a series of filters in the dataset section. Write the filter bounds here. Using this code, you filter your range. Using the geometry that was drawn, put that geometry inside this filter. Instead of the previous coordinates, we write the geometry inside the map center object. To display the polygon only. Here it displays the image. In the next part, we will apply the scaling factor on the image. In order for the apply scaling factor to be applied, it must be introduced to the dataset. So, it is used by the map command. After running the codes, you can see that the images were displayed correctly. Now we work on the area that contains the clouds. So we place the geometry in the areas that include the clouds. We also run the codes for this area. Here, the image contains the clouds. We write print to print all the images. By running the code, all the images are identified. There are 5 Landsat 9 images available in the time period we had. You can see the cloud coverage of the images here. We write the cloud filter code. And write filter metadata. We put cloud cover inside this filter and make less than from the number 10. This means that all images must have less than 10% cloud cover. Here, by writing first, the first image is displayed. Use these commands to export the image. Dataset.first means to display the first image.
Clip should be exported using the geometry. Here the image was cropped exactly based on the geometry. To export this image, we go to the docs section. And search for export. Select the export image to drive option. Copy and enter the code. Specify the image. You're able to write a description about the image. And write the folder you want to have inside the drive. What the name of the file should be. Let the area be the same as the geometry. What the scale should be. Here it is 30 meters for the Landsat 9 images. CRS means the coordinate system. Which is written in the description field EPSG 32636 which is entered in this field. The description of each is written here, which you can read. Here you can specify the size of the images, how much the image should be downloaded. You can also set the file format to GeoTIFF. By running it, you can fix it if there is an error. In the Tasks section, an image that needs to be downloaded is displayed. Here we have the data band error. We must specify the bands that we want to be exported. So, in the dataset section, we specify the bands that need to be downloaded.
And finally, you can run the code here. You can save the code with a special name. We wait for the image to be exported to the drive. You can access the image in the drive. By clicking on the download option you can download the image. 